beautiful people welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for tuning in i really do appreciate your time you guys have no idea my name is Kanavo. for some of you guys who are new here sorry okay my name is Karavo, for some of you guys who are new here. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, I'd love for you to do so before we continue with the video. It is the red rectangular box somewhere down there. Click onto that and you may also click onto the bell next to the subscribe button in order for you to receive notifications when I do upload a video. In today's video, we are going along with the theme of using products that I've always had in my makeup bag but I've never used or I have used and never really used them again. I'm creating this look for you guys, which I think in my opinion is the best makeup look that I've created, filmed, edited and uploaded on YouTube, in my opinion. I love this so much. This is the look that I wore when I filmed the unemployed by choice video. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't. So if you're interested in watching how I created this look, then stay tuned. If not, please click onto the subscribe button, which is somewhere down there, like I mentioned, before you move on to the next video, because I might be uploading a video that will be beneficial to you in the near future. So you might as well just subscribe now. <laughs> anyway, without much more further to do and say, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. We're gonna go in with the primer. So today for foundation, we are going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I have here two shades because the other one was light and then the other one was dark. Mixing them together, it kind of worked, but not that much. But we're going to go in with 530 and 430. This is 440 Caramel. It's not full coverage, but the coverage seems to be a tad bit better than the What's the other one? The Colorstay Foundation. So this is buildable and I think I'm going to build onto it and see how it goes. I've used this once in my first vlog. I used this foundation and it was great. But when I used it again afterwards, I just couldn't find the right, you know, um, mixture to get the right shade for me. And right now this seems like it's giving me flawless. It's giving me great skin it's giving me skin like finish right now oh my god like i love this <laughs> i'm in love with this so so much oh my okay photo ready i mean i'm too late with all these reviews or whatever you want to call it but it's funny how i've always had these foundations and of course like i said because of hype and all of that stuff you never get to um really use the products that well you know you use it once it doesn't work for you and you let it go and you think that's the end most of the time especially if you have problematic skin your skin gets to a phase where it's it's more um drier than usual or more textured than usual there's just a lot that goes on you know and your skin can reject certain products and this right now is one of the products that i said that i can easily easily say that my skin rejected not because it's a bad product but simply because my diet probably was wrong or i just wasn't taking care of my skin that good around that time but right now that i'm using it, it it's this is like skin like it's really nice i really like it but let me not blow my own horn all right so moving on to concealer i'm gonna use of course the revlin 
Photo Ready Candid Concealer in the shade 65, which is Cafe. I'm going to use this to highlight and then to contour, I'm going to go in with the Hello Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Espresso. Now that that is done, I'm going to take my foundation brush and just blend the harsh lines or edges in. I'm going to set the concealer before it creases and as per usual, I don't have any other powders. I'm going to use the Edda Girl Pro Powder in the shade Banana Yellow. This is just, this is incredible. I just wanted to show you guys that because, wow, I'm kind of shook as how flawless and how beautiful and flawless this finish is. Okay, so we continue. I'm not gonna do much because there's not much to be done because this is already kind of contoured, but we're just gonna go with it. Foundation brush, blend everything in together. Going into my Muffy palette to find a nice brown shade to contour with. That's it for the base. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. And for today, we are using another eyeshadow palette that I purchased sometime last year but never really used. And this is the Wet and Wild palette. Color icon. So it's a mini palette with four eyeshadows inside. Today, I'm only interested in two shades from this palette, which is the brown shade over here as well as the green shade. So I'm going to be using those two, maybe even the brow bone shade, I'm not too sure, but we'll see how that goes. But I'm only interested in two eyeshadows for today, the green and that brown up there. Okay? Awesome. Let's get to it. Okay, first we're going to go in with the brown shade. We're going to put this all over the eyelid. And then using a very tiny, thin brush, we're going to tap into this shade. Oh god, this is super pigmented. I thought I was going to have to apply four times or so to get the color, but no. This is so dope. This is highly pigmented. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Now I'm going to tap into this brow bone shadow. And then just focus it up there. I 
I like this. I like this. But I think I'm gonna take it up a notch. Going back into my Morphe palette, I am going to grab this shade over here. Oh my god! Okay! I'm satisfied. I'm actually more than satisfied. This is more than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I love this. Okay, so next, mascara. I'm going to coat my lashes, both the top and the bottom, with this mascara. And then I'm going to pop on some eyelashes. And then we complete this look. Oh my gosh. I went in with a more natural, short eyelash so that we don't take away from what's happening up on top and also just I know it just completes the look you know it, it completes the look I feel like if you want a person that doesn't like all this drama this right here is drama enough for you I mean it's it's wearable it's completely wearable yes it is ah. <laughs> I can't believe how good this is I can't get over this and we need to move on we need to move on <laughs> Let's move on. Because we are in autumn approaching winter, we are all about the browns. So brown feels is what it is. I'm going in with this Palladio lip liner in the shade Walnut. And then for the center, I'm gonna give the Essence Color Boost liquid lipstick a bit of a break. And I'm gonna go in with this Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade Nude Painting. I'm really confused. I don't know which one I like the most with the hair bag, with the hair in front. It's just also confusing. I don't know. It just looks really, really good. This looks good. It feels good on my skin. It doesn't feel like I have all of this makeup on. The eyelashes are making it much more lighter. It's amazing. I shock myself most of the time um, when I create makeup looks and all that stuff. And this is yet another shock my system uh, but yeah I really really love this I think this is by far my favorite look mm. this is by far my favorite look I really love this let me know what you guys think about this look in the comment section down below give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video or you find it helpful and of course if you're still watching the video but you're not subscribed to my channel I'd love for you to do so right now I don't know what you're waiting for click onto the subscribe button which should be somewhere down there you may also click onto that bell next to the subscribe button in order for you to receive notifications when I do upload a video and as per usual I'd love to wish you guys love joy peace happiness and greatness of course but most importantly blessings directly from above onto you and yours till we meet again in the next video of course Mwah. goodbye